everyone, welcome back to another unboxing video. This is probably going to be the most unique unboxing video I'm ever going to do. So getting started here, moving the garbage bag. First thing I notice is the little Sonic wristband. This was a pre-order bonus for a few Sonic games um, here in the USA as well as in Europe. Not too sure what this is. Say peace, hope, and joy down there, and they have the Sega logo in the snow with what looks like Christmas lights. Is this a Christmas card? Maybe it is. Huh. That's interesting. Looks like here we have a shirt. Project Sonic. This is a Shadow the Hedgehog beanie. This is actually a pre-order bonus for the game here in uh, the USA at GameStop. I remember I got one of these back in the day. Over here, it looks like some stickers. Haven't seen this one before. Sonic Adventure 2, it's got the 10th anniversary logo. Oh wait, this is a postcard. That's really cool, I've never seen this. Here's a set of Sonic stickers, as well as Monkey Ball and Knights. I actually bought one of these off eBay not too long ago. I bought them because it has Sonic Rush on there and I love Sonic Rush, plus anything with Knights. Here we have a Trapper Keeper. If you grew up in the 90s, you had a Trapper Keeper. Oh, this is really cool. This is an unopened version of the Sonic Adventure Tiger Electronic handheld. That's amazing. And it still has the Walmart sticker on it. Or maybe not. Maybe that's not the Walmart sticker. That's so cool. There's a bag. Looks like it has a bunch of McDonald's LCD toys. I know a lot of uh, Sonic fans and collectors. Uh, this was some of their first items right here. Here we have a Sonic Battle uh, promo from Japan. It's a little Rubik's Cube. It's got Emerald on there. Emerald, Sonic Knuckles, the Sonic Battle logo, Tails, Shadow. I'm terrible at these things. I'm not even gonna try to fix it. Here we have another shirt. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. I have quite a lot of uh, Mario and Sonic Olympic promo items, so that's really cool. Another shirt. Oh wow, Sonic Adventure 2 shirt. Oh, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. It's got the GameCube logo on it. That, that was the back. I guess this is the front. Sega Sonic the Hedgehog. Awesome. Got quite a few shirts here. Sega 91. Here's the front. Sonic 15th Anniversary. Here's a Sonic Adventure shirt. It's got that uh, Sonic, classic Sonic Adventure art and that saying I'll never look back. Here's another one of the little wristbands. Here's another shirt. That's the front, nothing on the back. Oh, you guys might remember these game graphics. You could put them on your GameCube, your Nintendo DS. These were big in the mid 2000s. This one's for Shadow the Hedgehog. I don't think I ever found that one in the store. Here's another Shadow the Hedgehog. Oh, here's the Sonic Rush one. I had this one on my DS. 
I actually had the Sonic Riders one on my GameCube, but when I sold my GameCube, it went with it. Here's a little Sonic inflatable toy. If I remember correctly, I saw this in a magazine or something, one of the Japanese magazines a long time ago. I'm not sure what it's used for. I think I'll blow it up later and find out. This looks like some Sonic Sonic Battle promo card. Got a Sonic Advance 3 lanyard here. Not sure if that was just a promo item in Japan or what. Probably from the game store. Oh, there's actually several of these Sonic Battle cards. They're holographic. That's awesome. I love Sonic Battle so much. Looks like a Sega folder. Let's see what's in this. Oh, it's a Sonic Heroes press kit. I think. So it's a press packet, I guess. That's what it says on the front. Sega Press, or maybe it's a, the magazine is called Sega Press. Got a Sonic Heroes advertisement there. Got Sonic Battle, Puyo Puyo. Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg. I remember that one. I never finished it, but I started it. Astro Boy. Got Fantasy Star Online 3, Card Revolution. Fantasy Star Online Episode 1 and 2. Macross, Sega GT, Gungrave. Selection of PS2 games up there. Mobile games. Got Mobile Fantasy Star. Sonic X Mobile. Sega Direct. Is that a Sega bike? That's cool. I've never seen that before. Sega Software lineup. All the upcoming games for all the various systems. Stick that back in here. That's awesome. Beautiful folder. Here we have a Sega Sports lanyard. Or two. Sega Sports was real big when I was growing up. I remember having a pair of shoes, a shirt. Got them at uh, Payless. I, I believe I got the shoes at Payless and the shirt at Walmart. Still, EA screwed everybody over. So, Walk of Game, Press, Metricon, San Francisco. This is a pass, I guess. Looks like 2005 inductees, Nolan Bushnell, Shigeru Miyamoto, Halo, Link from The Legend of Zelda, Mario, and Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, that's awesome. I gotta look that up. I don't know too much about that. Here, it looks like the poster that came with Sonic Battle. On one side was Sonic Battle, and the other side was Sonic Advance 2. It was packaged in with the game. Pulled out several things here. Here's a sticker sheet. Just looks like some basic Sonic stickers, but they're like the poofy kind. And look at there, you got the Dark Chow, the Angel Chow. Got Rouge. Here's some more postcards. You got Puyo Puyo. Another Puyo Puyo. Another Puyo Puyo. And this, I'll explain about this in a second. The Sega card. Not sure what this was. Oh, so is it like a prepaid card for hints and tips? Either way, it's got knights on the front. It's always cool. This looks Dreamcast tattoos. I want a real Dreamcast tattoo. That'd be awesome. This looks like it was a letter that was sent to the Sonic team something putting the power in the hands of the gamer oh this is from walk of game Let's see what's in here two 
2005 induction ceremony and reception, Tuesday, March 8th, 5 to 7 p.m., level 2, RSVP. I'm guessing that past one in here, but that's really cool to have. I imagine those are pretty, probably few and far between. Oops. Put it back in this little thing here. Guess I'm gonna head to Walmart later and buy a few frames. Here's a picture of Sonic in front of the American flag. Um, he actually sent me a picture of this before he mailed it and I asked him what it was and he said that it was actually on the desk of every Sonic team member once they start in the USA. And that's something I probably should have mentioned in the video. This guy was on um, Sonic Team in Japan for four years and then Sonic Team in America for four years. So this was on his desk his first day. Here's a really cool Dreamcast pin. Not so sure if it still writes or not. Not that I'd use it anyway. How cool that is. Oh, this is the Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg McDonald's game. I actually don't think I ever had this. Gotta change the batteries in that and get it going. Another McDonald's game there. Actually, have several more McDonald's games. Let's see what this is. This is pretty big. Sega Sonic. Oh, this is old. This looks very old from the early 90s. It's got the old school Japanese art. And look at that Sonic holding the microphone. I wonder what this is. I'm gonna put the, take it out of the package off camera here just because it's very, this paper is very fragile. That's the box, Sonic and Tails, original, Chodon, Spawn, original, Transpawn? Let's see. Oh my god. Is this really what I think it is? These are walkie talkies. I remember these. It was a uh, rumor that these existed, plush versions of Sonic and Tails walkie talkies. Well, I guess they do exist. They have little headphones attached to them. I guess you could lay in the bed with them and talk to your friend that was nearby, also in their bed, your brother or something maybe. The walkie talkie is actually built into the back of the plush there. Tails has a little mouth. Check out Sonic. I don't think there's ever been batteries in these. Maybe I'll have to put some batteries in them one day and see what, see if they work. These are very cool. I gotta check around with some of the old school Sonic collectors. So they've been collecting as long as I have and see if they remember hearing about these. Wow, 
I'm really like in shock with these. So yeah, Sonic and Tails transpond. I guess that's like Japanese for walkie-talkie or something. Transponder, transmitter. Looks like here we have a jacket. STI R&D group. STI, if I'm not mistaken. Sega Technical Institute. And this is actually a button-up jacket, almost like a varsity jacket or something. Original college jacket. Here's a capsule I'm guessing something was in. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's probably this. This was probably in it. It's a little Sonic 3 pin. These were given out, um, I believe, with pre-orders of Sonic 3 or when you picked up the game or something in certain countries. Make sure there's nothing else in the bottom here. Well, it looks like that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And again, I want to thank the person who sent me this over and over because this was an amazing gift and I appreciate all of it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So I'll be back soon to show the walkie talkies and maybe go into a little bit more detail about some of this stuff. Thanks for watching. See you next time.